So we've got 29.96 is being divided by 0.7. So hopefully you've already learned how to do long division. And now all we're doing is we're adding this component of adding the decimal in there. So what you want is you want this number here that's going into 29.96 to be a whole number, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the decimal point enough places to the right so that it becomes a whole number. However many places we move this to the right, we wanna do the same thing with the number underneath the division bar, okay? So I move this one one to the right, I wanna move this one one to the right. So let me just rewrite this. Now we have seven is going into 299.6. Okay, so a little bit easier now. So now we just go ahead and proceed like normal. We just do our division. Seven goes into two, no. Seven goes into 29, yes. How many times? Four, so I put the four right above the 29, above the nine. Four times seven is 28. Okay, subtract, that's gonna be 196. By the way, this decimal point, you just wanna bring straight up and put it on the division bar. So I just brought it straight up. Okay, now seven goes into 19, how many times? two times, notice how I'm keeping these lined up. So that's 14, seven times two is 14, I'm subtracting, that's 56, and seven goes into 56 eight times. And again, notice how everything's lined up. That's 56, zero remainder. So 42.8 is our final answer. Let's look at another example. Here we have 40 is divided by 2.5. Okay, so let's set it up. We've got 40 is divided by 2.5. Okay, could you see this number on the outside? We want this just to be a whole number. So we're gonna make it a whole number by moving the decimal point one place to the right, okay? And if we do that to this number, we also wanna do the same thing to the number underneath the division bar. Right now, the decimal point is here at the right of the number. We're gonna move it one place, and so we have to put a placeholder there. That's, we put a zero for a placeholder. So now the decimal's right there. So let's rewrite it. We have 25 is going into 400, and there's our decimal point. Let's just bring it right up there on the division bar. Okay, so you're with me so far? So now, does 25 go into four? No. Does 25 go into 40? Yes. How many times? One time. So one times 25 is 25. We subtract. How many times does 25 go into 150? Now, just a hint, when you're working with 25, you can think of quarters, like 25 cents. So how many times, how many quarters go into $1.50? Well, that's a six quarters, right? Four quarters and a dollar plus two more for the 50 cents, that's six quarters. So six times 25 is $1.50, we subtract, zero remaining. So our final answer is just gonna be 16. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with dividing decimals better in this video. I have another video I talked about multiplying decimals if you want to or need to check that out. And uh, subscribe to the channel, check out some more videos uh, on my channel, Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.